Hello, everybody. Oh my god. If it wasn't me excited for more when they cry, then I would actually be deranged, bro. If I wasn't excited for this game, then what the fuck would be happening? Right. Bro, I genuinely cannot wait for today because this is going to be the final episode of Melkasi. This is going to be... We're going to see what Sion's actually getting up to. I mean, we're going to... We've never really seen much of Sion's viewpoint from after the... Uh... I don't know from after the, all the really bad events that took place. So it's just going to be, oh my god, it's going to be so cool seeing everything that happens with Sion. Everything, everything that she does really, everything that, because we never knew she killed Mule before. But, yeah. Because I always thought, it was actually kind of odd, because I always thought, and in Watanagasi's world, Mion died by being pushed off a flat. But she was died by being tased and then falling down to the well. Maybe she wasn't killed, I don't know, but it kind of surprises me. No, no, I, I noticed that as well, bro. But yeah, welcome, dude. How's it going? I gotta, I gotta fix that real quick. Uh, that's actually kind of weird that there's no chat today. The chat box should be working, but it's not because funny Twitch. Weird. Right. Uh, wait. Oh fucking hell! I've not used this for years. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see, like, the whole Sion thing. I think I will also be able to see, like, maybe some of Casey's viewpoint. Because we're not in the bad end anymore. We're in the end where Casey didn't actually realise that this was Sion. She re he realised that it was a demon possessing her, sure, but not actually who she was. So it's going to be very interesting. But, like, first thing I need to fix this. Uh, look, what? Wait, what? Oh my god, fuck off. All widgets, right. Should be somewhere here, right? Yes, chat box. Yes. Give me the URL, brother. Yeah, there we are. Okay, that's weird. Wait, what the fuck? There was a chat box, it was just hidden for some reason. Weird. I literally never hid it. Alright, um... Okay, let's get into this shit. Right. Yeah, there we go. Five second delay. Damn. Nice. Right, June 1983. Okay, here's the shit that happens. There's been a series of disappearances in Yamazawa village, Shizubana city, Exos prefecture. Interesting. This is very similar to what we played in the bad ending. As well as some Sonozaki Mion. One X is up. God, so they even got that wrong. The fucking police got that wrong. Wow. And it's very interesting how in this one, Mion is convicted, but in the other one, Sion is. Allegedly, she abducted a prison and killed five Yinamazawa residents, Oryo Sonozaki, Sion Sonozaki, Kishiro Kimiyoshi, Hurere Rika, and Satoko Hojo between June 19th and the 21st. And it's also very interesting because she was said to have killed four in Bad Ending. It's very interesting that it was actually realised that she was killing, she killed Sion here. But she didn't kill Sion. If Sion killed Sion here, that'd be like her killing herself. Which probably does happen, let's be real. But yeah. Preliminary investigations on the incident were delayed at the time due to insufficient evidence, but by chance the case was solved rather abruptly. Yeah. Interesting. On the morning of the 20 seconds, a vehicle patrolling the Sonozaki property heard screams from inside and rushed in as an emergency measure. Yeah. There's a good associate's missing younger sister, Sonozaki Sion, and her two missing classmates, Maya Barakati and Yoga Dena. Dena? I forgot. Yeah. Because it's not Dena here. The suspect fled the scene. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> we found the hair pieces of skin and the blood of four missing people. Oryo Sonozaki, Kimiyoshi, Kimiyoshi, Kichiro Kimiyoshi, I don't know why I said Kimiyoshi twice, Hude Dei Rika and Satoko Hojo in the torture room that was discovered in the basement of the outbuilding on the Sonozaki family property. Supposedly that's where they were killed. Yeah, oh my god. I love that the, the lines are so long that they actually go off the screen here. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose. 
Ya. Yeah. We only the victims were tortured in that torture room. Yep, they got that right. However, the remains have still not been found. Ah, oh, according to one of our imprisoned classmates, advice. Oh, the body should be taken somewhere in the basement of the outbuilding where the torture room, where the torture took place. Yeah. However, nothing has been covered or uncovered as of yet, including the escape route the suspect took. Yeah, it's very interesting because I have a feeling when they find the well, they're going to also find the escape route Mion uh, Sion took. That's very interesting that they haven't actually found it. And I wonder who one of this imprisoned classmates was. I have a feeling it's going to be somebody they know more than what they're saying, Sodika, basically. That's my theory. <laughs> In addition, investigations continue regarding any possible connection to the series of mysterious deaths in recent years. Hmm. Yeah. But no evidence that Sonozaki Mion was involved, either directly or indirectly, was been found. What? But she was literally at the scene, I mean... She was... How could there not be any evidence? Because you remember when, um, whenever like the police officers are to let them in, isn't Mion the one that actually answers the door? No, no, it isn't actually. No, it isn't because what they do is Mion lets Katie and um, Medina in, but the police are spying on them. So we can actually tell that it's been Mion that's left, that's let them in. But just because he left them in, let them in, it doesn't actually prove that they've potentially been killed by her, I suppose. But who else could it have been? Could it have been, I suppose? But I don't know, that is actually very true. It's very interesting that she's been able to hide all the evidence despite being so irrationally thinking. Well, no, to be fair, she was rationally thinking, it's just she was fucking crazy, so you would have thought it would be difficult. There were still many unclear points as to the motive behind the incidents. Oh yeah, and as those of the Sonzaki family and the residents of the Rinamazo have been extremely uncooperative in insisting us, we expect to require a long time to clarify them. Yeah, I just can't believe that the, even the people in Hinamazo wouldn't cooperate. The opinion of a local officer knowledgeable about the region is that this may have been a lynching, an internal form of punishments, of punishing sacrilegious acts um, carried out against the beliefs of the Hinamazawa village. Interesting. So, but I thought lynching was like a method of torture. I didn't think that it was a way of killing people because of sacrilege. What? Hmm. It is clear that these incidents are particularly rooted in this region, and the Prefectural Police Department has ordered a cautious investigation. Yeah, I suppose. But the only thing is, like, yeah, luckily, it's not a pressured one, I suppose. We anticipate to gain invaluable clues from the missing person believed to have been in prison for the longest time. Sion Sonazaki, the sus suspect's younger sister. Oh my god. I can't believe that they don't know this. I mean, you would have thought Mion, no matter how much she hates Oishi and people like that, would have said, like, that vital piece of information. That could completely turn the case around. However, the incident has left such a serious mental after effects that she has not been in a state of mind to properly answer any questions about what she knows. God. The psychiatrist concludes that she is in a temporary state of shock, but as of today, she has yet to show any improvement. Oh, God. Yeah. Fading. Ooh. 
I was acting at first. Oh, we're in Sion's point of view, I bet. I was acting at first. It was just an act to avoid being interrogated by the police. As it turns out, though, fake insanity can become real. Hmm? You see, I couldn't bear it any longer. I continued to be haunted by the present do good and I was torn the talked about. That's very interesting. It was so close that it could almost touch my back. Hmm. It wasn't such a skin, it wasn't a hallucination. It had become Sion's ghost. Oh, so that's what she thinks that kinda like doesn't make sense. If it was Sion's ghost, how could it have been following her beforehand? But I suppose at the same time in Watanakasi, you remember where um Takano-san's body, for example. The time of death was a day before she actually was verified to have died. So maybe it could be, but I don't know, it's just very unlikely if you ask me. And secondly, she didn't actually die, so yeah. Sion's ghost. Sion didn't go to heaven after all. Oh, she was almost by my side instead. I mean, I suppose, I suppose that she would go to heaven. She is a very nice person and everything, but at the same time, she is the Sonazaki family head. And you can't forget about the fingernail ripping scene. How can anybody not sort of... I was, I was going to say, how can anybody, like, follow that? But at the same time, if she doesn't follow it, she'd probably get worse circumstances. So, yeah, I really don't know. She was almost by my side instead. She only didn't like the fact that I was still alive when she wasn't. Oh. So she had decided to haunt me until she witnessed my death. Damn. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. I mean... She kind of deserves it, but like, still, I th I reckon this is just paranoia. This can't be the case. Every night she whispers to me, telling me, to oh, okay, that's very weird. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I shouted and she on my back, through my mouth. She shouted back at me. Oh, God. It must look odd to other people. They think I'm arguing myself. Yeah, I know. It's not fair. Why are you still doing this? Oh, God. Why are you still living more like... Oh, my God. I mean... Okay, that's probably not something I should be saying. But, like... um, Yeah, it's just really surprising that, like... This is the case. Because... With the whole, like, conversation thing internally... This could potentially be... Or maybe it could be some sort of mental disorder that I'm not really aware of. But at the same time, if it was a mental disorder, then, like, how could it be the same as exactly what Dena and Satoshi experienced? So it's just really odd, this. I really does sort of wonder if there's some sort of mastermind control in the village. Oh, God, good luck with that, bro. Good luck. I don't really know. Don't really know what you talking about, but yeah. Because <laughs> I've never really tried them. Tried using them, you know? Die, die, die already. You said you didn't die right after you killed me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Oh, oh, interesting. So, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. God. It's so dark and cold in this world. It's cold. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. God. Wow. I really don't blame her. It's just really, really weird, this. I mean, could this actually be her? I'm just kind of... I'm kind of in two minds about this. I mean, my God. Oh, I get it. I get it. Shut up. What exactly do you think this? You won't die the way you want to. Oh yeah, you're just running away, you're trying to survive, even after you did all those horrible things. You'll never be forgiven, you're cursed. You're cursed, you're destined to die. Oh. Shut up, Sion. You're just a ghost, so shut up. Shut up. Fuck. Okay, this is weird. You lousy shit. Fuck off. It's not fair, it's not fair. You and I should always be together, even after death. So, Mio, I've come to take you with me, Mio. Hmm. I 
That's really weird. God. Holy shit, she's getting worked up. Bang, 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 bang. She got banged on the door. What? Maybe... No, there is no... I'm sorry, there is no way this is Xion. This has to be somebody else. I have a feeling that because she's in the sort of frame of mind that everything's based around Xion at the moment, she's really sort of imagining it to be worse than it is. Bam, 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 bam. That noise is too loud. It's cracking my ears and my head open. Xion's trying to break in. Oh, shit. All right. Xion, I get it. The perfect way to me to die is to be cursed by death, to death by you, isn't it? But I won't be going so easily. Uh -huh. I won't simply disappear. It wouldn't be fair if your beloved was... Left alive after all. Oh god. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here, here, yeah. True. <laughs> god. So. This is really interesting, this. I mean. It's very interesting that she also says. Cursed by death. Because I do wonder if, when it says cursed, it could potentially mean, like, the same things that had happened with the other spirits and presences that would follow, like, Gezi and Satoshi, like, were they cursed by this spirit as well? It could, it would actually explain, like, a theory that has never really been looked at here, but I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh, nice one. Wow. God, that sounds really cool. What would that be used for? Oh my god, an English dub of this. I mean, in Higurashi, there is an anime, and the English dub for the anime is complete shit. It's... Oh my god, it's terrible. But I reckon... I reckon if it was done really well, then yeah, yeah, easily. It could be doing... It could be really good. Really good. But, yeah, sadly, we'll never see. I prefer it in Japanese, though. These voice actors, they're so fucking good. Really? Oh, my God. I didn't... How does Mr. Beast do dubs? What? God, this, this noise thing is so weird. I mean, I don't know. When you have, like, a really sort of fragmented mind can you actually hear noises that are not actually there or is this like genuinely the work of a sort of Mion clone god I really wish I knew more about the mind at the moment I went out and onto the back of to avoid Sion who was on the other side of the door oh god I can't believe this so she's actually hallucinating her being there I just really wonder where this is stemmed from. If I jump over the railing to the neighbouring apartment, I could reach the fire escape. Oh, you fucking idiot. Don't try it. I mean, she actually realises. She actually doesn't realise that, like, this is not real. This is a hallucination. I'm, I mean, to be fair, she probably isn't really thinking straight because of how stressful this may be. But, like, God, I suppose... He shits you. Oh my god, she's actually doing it. I lean over the railing and jump to the balcony next door. God. Then I rush down the stairs, nor does this a cat. Because she has balls, holy shit. She almost too stupid to realise that I escaped. Jesus. You can really just see how broken her laughs are. It's interesting, that. It wouldn't take long to get into Katie's house on a motorcycle. She must believe that I'm still in that room. She's so stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> so, she's going to Katie's house. Soon enough, I can see the Mayabada mansion. Why? <gasps> oh, no, I know what happens now. Oh, no. I've, I've never seen it before, but I heard a great deal about it from Sion. <laughs> Stand where the Katie's room is on the second floor. I should wake him up for a stone. Jesus Christ, why a stone? Well, I mean, I suppose it's going to be the only thing that will actually like make a noise and maybe infiltrate his window, but like still, could result in so much. 
cobblestone. I threw a couple stones at the windows and surely here uh, thereafter the light turned on and the window opened. Oh no. <coughs> I saw Katie there. The moment I saw him, my madness cooled off for a while. Even from here I could tell that Katie was running down the stairs. Oh god. Well, he kind of asked for it, I can't lie. She showed, he just showed up quickly with a doll in his hat. Oh. Oh, wow. I felt depressed to see it. It was the doll he failed to give seal. Oh, no. Shit, this could probably have the worst effect it could have because... Because the thing is that with, about the whole doll thing, the sort of jealousy stemmed from... Um, Katie having not given the doll to Sion and like Sion getting mad and getting upset and sort of having a loved one that she can actually get upset about. So I wonder if this jealousy is going to remind her of that and as a result she'll be even worse. This is though he failed to give Sion. It wasn't very often. Oh Sion. I'm so jealous Katie. Yeah. Yeah that's what I thought. So he just gets on. I want to receive his doll from Sutter Skin too. Oh. Mio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. How are you? Have you been doing alright? Start the burning insanity within me. I spoke to him calmly. Yeah, I'm surprised about that. Yeah. It it's just so horrible that she's been affected so badly that this is an actual sentence that can happen. Oh, that's true. My body is controlled by the demon now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here this lake. <laughs> oh, of course. Are you alright hanging around this place? Yeah, I suppose. I really shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway, what's wrong? Why do, what do you need at this hour? I wanted to talk to you one last time. One last time? I felt horribly sleepy. Maybe it's more like fainting due to a loss of blood. What the fuck? Oh god, I suppose... No, I suppose... Oh, I suppose when you're really stressed, and... Maybe she could just be really stressed, but not actually aware of it. Because I remember when I've been feeling some of the most stressed, I've sort of... Fainted, you know? It's a horrible feeling you get there. Yeah, that sensation is proof the insanity is swallowing me. Yeah! God, so... Her mind is actually getting too much for her body to cope with now. That's sad. Jesus, 14 different languages. I mean, it doesn't really it doesn't really surprise me. Because, yeah, Mr. Beast is so big. He probably needs the biggest audience he can possibly have. Oh, they're outside. He went, he went downstairs. After a fucking rock was thrown in his window. But let's not speak about that. <laughs> Well, I, <laughs> I can't stay for any longer. Why is she so happy? Oh, no, she's not happy. It's probably like one of those, you know, sadistic laughs, you know. Are you alright? Are you not feeling well? I tried so hard until now. But I can tell. I'm done. This is my limit. They're about to come up behind me to take me away. What? Oh. oh no! This is this is the people that are behind Sion at the moment. Oh my god. god. Just that laugh. Painful. I won't get to say how I die. She might allow me to. Yeah, no wonder. I dropped her down the well. It wasn't only her. None of the people I killed chose to die how they did. Yeah, for real. And they wouldn't have chose if they could. Considering that the bedding I would, I'll die must seem like a luxurious consent to the dead. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious about... Oh no, oh no, we already heard that. I was curious about the... Fig! He! Gu! Agya! Sounded like. 
I am not deranged, I promise. <laughs> oh my god. god. You can just really see just from that. That just really shows the mind. Just the deterioration of it, really. God. Are you okay? Don't force yourself. Oh, that's right. I had something. Oh, no. I'll kill him, kill him, kill him. I'll avenge Sutter Skin's death. I'll avenge his death. This guy's Sion's beloved. I hear I'll kill him and teach her a lesson. Eat this. She. Oh, no. So. I thought he was just he was just killing Casey because of the addiction. It's actually because she wants to get the Sion behind her out. And she wants to sort of. I don't know, wield her off a scent, but she's actually a really dumb person. Like, she does realise that this is going to be the thing that sort of gets Sion, and it gets Mion to sort of be provoked. Do the attacks worse? Oh, God. Oh, oh no. She actually did it. My gravity's pulled spun around me. Or does I stab him with a knife? Fucking. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I made it. I made it in time. Sad. Oh, oh my god. What a fucking kick I made it, I made it, I made it. Before Sion killed me, I got back at her. Yeah. I mean, I get the whole demon related thing. I mean, maybe it could be a potential that the demon related thing doesn't even exist, but god, even if it doesn't. No, even if it does, sorry, this is so fucking horrible. Did that Sion kill me? She really doesn't view human life at all anymore. God. It's getting darker and darker. Gator rolled on the ground, clutching his stomach. Oh my god, come on. Save him. Mm -hmm. um, Bruce, he sounds like a sheep. I can't lie. Wait, what do you mean by humble, bro? Do you mean just like... Oh, I don't know. I've done it, I've done it. Oh. God. You sound like you've just finished your exams. Not like you fucking stab somebody. Jesus Christ. Because especially this kid, like, ha 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 ha, I've done it all, I've done it all. I'd probably say that if I finished my exams at the moment. <laughs> That's everybody I wanted to kill. God, she's so happy. Jesus fucking. Well, I think she is genuinely a psychopath. Holy shit. Oh, all oh, right. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> She's probably going to do that when she dies, I'm going to be real. She's probably going to get that final taste of medicine. I wonder her final moments are going to be, but because I'm going to be real, I think she's very, she's definitely near the end. I mean... The thing is about Sion is just like, this lifestyle, how long can it take? How long can it develop? And I mean, especially because if she actually does get away with this, the addiction would just come up again. Maybe she wouldn't get away with it. What would happen in prison? Stuff like that. Well, I think she probably really, she probably learned if she went to prison. Or maybe she went to some sort of professional help camp. But if she... Wait, no one knows about what? Uh, she's killed six, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. But some of them were in really horrible means, so I think that's more. I think that's just worth taking into account. Yes, I did it. I did it. Yeah, I avenge your death, Sutter Skin. 
She actually, she does not think that. Don't love me for it. Will you start my? Yeah. These are just mad thoughts. They're not. They haven't got any ration in them. They're not rational. Yes, best line of Higurashi right there. Well, Japan in the 1980s. What was it? 1940. Oh god. Yeah. Well, this isn't a reputation of Japan. It's just like one character. I mean, yeah. There's only one character. No, doesn't really show the entire nation, luckily. Yes, this is all about dream. <laughs> oh my god, if I only. After all, I was just in my room, like always, suffering from nightmares of seal. Wait, hang on, what? Oh my god, this is what you fucking dream about? What the hell? God. It's just really interesting that Sion, I mean, she's thinking so irrationally that, like, she, she's still, she's had so many, it's interesting how a lot of her thoughts, they've really contrasted each other, and I think that just sort of shows, like, the whole mind getting worse thing. Because, I mean, in one time, she's in a mind of, like, killing everyone for avenging Satoshi, and then, in the other mind, she's in, sort of, the, the misconception that, like, the idea that, like, Satoshi really isn't that good, and... It's not worth killing people for. She never realises that. Unless in the bad ending, where she does. After all, I was just in my room like I was just in my room always suffering from nightmares of Sion. But where was I now? Oh, maybe it wasn't a dream. I'd been standing on my apartment's fire escape alone. That's odd. I still recall that dream. Yes, I stepped out onto the veranda. My front door was still locked, so I had to climb through the veranda again. Huh. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa? My foot slipped and then I felt, I felt a floating sensation. <gasps> oh, no! Wait. I don't know why I'm so empathetic. Of course you're fucking... I mean... I don't know. So she'd step out on the right here. It was still not so I had to climb through the veranda again. Oh. Floating sensation. <gasps> After that, a uh, sharp, indescribable pain ran through my head. Wait, so, oh my god. This is horrible. I mean, the whole thing about her mind is... The whole thing about her mind and everything, like, it's so hazy that she can't even recall her reality anymore. I mean, the thing that's really odd about the whole Katie being stabbed thing, then could that be potentially a dream? Everything related to Mata Nagasi. No, no, it can't. Because of the because of the hospital scene that happens after, you know, where Sion gets friend Katie's hand and, you know, the nails. No, it can't be. That impregnable pain finally cleaned the fog, cleared the fog away from my nightmare. Oh no. Interesting. Hello, Sion. I just slipped from the fire escape as I tried to return to my balcony. I fell onto the roof jutting out from the elevator hall two or three floors down. Hmm, how oh, interesting. My room is on the 8th floor. I wasn't expecting to be, I wasn't expecting to be caught up here. When I fall, my head landed right on the concrete corner and I could feel both enormous pain and the warm blood dripping out. Oh God. No, oh, I can imagine that. God. She fell right on her head as well. I mean, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Do do Japan still have the death penalty? What? I've never heard about this. But I, I get that this is 1980s, so. Oh my god. 
Jesus. Look how that really surprises me. Well, Japan really is a false friend. I don't know. I don't know if you've heard about um, Unit Seven Hundred Thirty One, but that's sort of the thing that really. Because I actually, I actually read up on it today, and yeah. Oh, you have. Yeah. I've sort of lost all my respect to Japan's history, just because of that. But I was oblivious at the first place. God, it's so horrible. And yeah. Oh, strangely calm. Oh, of course you did. I can sense a demon. Sion's ghost. All my grudge. Interesting. Could it have just been like a really, really painful knock? Could have just like enforced the mind in place again? Who knows? <laughs> I kind of doubt it though. I can sense a demon. Sion's ghost. All my grudge. I just felt like a baby. And nothing that's brought me peace. Hmm. All my memories from when I was born, and they meow until today, came up to my mind. Oh god, she's gonna probably... Oh, I suppose she has to think as much as possible, because she's gonna fucking vanish if she doesn't. Or well, she's gonna die, even. <laughs> Not vanish, I don't know why I said that, but... It's very interesting that she thinks she's named Mio, but in reality she's Xiu. But because she has the demon, she's thinking she's Mio. I just can't believe that she actually thinks she's called Mio now. I have wiggle memories of the time I spent with Satoshi and tears rolled down my cheeks. Where did, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Where in my life did I make the wrong choice? I reckon... I think everything probably... Everything probably deteriorated. I mean, there were a few wrong choices. There were quite a few wrong choices that I made before. The whole Sion um, actually becoming a murderer in the year before Casey arrives. Like, for example, the whole Satoshi thing, the... I don't know. The subtle core thing definitely with the whole chair and bullying and abuse and stuff like that. And I can't nothing else really springs to mind, but then but then there's a whole I think the first wrong choice she made. I'm gonna be real, it probably was maybe getting the mysteries off Takano-san, in theory, because I mean I know it was Takano's it wasn't Takano's fault, but like the thing is, those mysteries, I think they sort of they gave her sort of an obsession about figuring out like who is the cobra really i don't know they sort of gave her an obligation and probably turned into an, an addiction of just trying to find out who was the cause of this and i have a feeling that drive for wanting to know knowledge is what actually sort of made her go wrong really when in my life did i make the wrong choice Oh, I do I do know just where and when that was because Sato Skin reminded me. Hmm. I'll leave Sato to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll leave Sato to you. Sure, I believe you'll return. I'll be waiting for you. I'll take care of Sato I'll wait for you with her. You'll be good girls. You left your precious sister to me and nobody else. I guess I didn't get the significance of what you said. Oh, God. Yeah, I suppose. I'll be fine this time. I'll be subtle skin. Wait, no, I have to, I have to, I'm keep on, I keep on forgetting, like, the whole subtlety thing, it's not, like, it's not anything abnormal that she's actually thinking this, because she gives up on subtlety in the bad ending, but she doesn't here, of course. God. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too late now. I'm sorry, everybody, Sion, I'm really sorry. Yeah, too late. I mean, I suppose at least it is kind of good that she's sort of starting to realise. But she only... It's way too late. And even if it wasn't too late, the damage done is too big. Sion, I'm really sorry. Could I repay everything with my death? Hmm. No. Just become some sort of resurrector then, sure. But, yeah.
in the way, right? That's not how it should be done. Yeah, I want to start asking this to my head one more time. I wanted to remember one more time. I knew it was too much to ask. And so I had no other regrets. That brought an end to my apologies. Oh, I rolled over, sending myself falling to the ground. Oh, no. Because she didn't even try to bargain for her life. I mean, I suppose there is a limited amount of things you can do, and especially if she doesn't have a phone, but, like, still... I mean, I think if I was in that situation, I'd probably, like, just scream to sort of see if anybody was there. And if people weren't there, then fuck. But, like, you could... There's still chances. Oh, she's just so upset with herself that she does this, I suppose. She doesn't think anything else is the best. But I suppose. The thing is, I, I, always, I always feel like being upset with yourself is always unnecessary, but like, when you actually see it when the things to be upset about are necessary, it's kind of, it's really a different story. God, head first. Oh man, we crack open. This take me to how I've deserved. I was just a demon. I belonged in hell. Why was I born? Why did this world give birth to me? I shouldn't have been born. I would have had to suffer if I hadn't been. Oh, God. What was the meaning of my meaningless life? <sighs> so sad. She's thinking about it. If I wasn't born, nobody would have had to suffer. Thank you for treating me kindly, even though I was like this. Thank you for teaching me love, and even though I was like this. Yeah. Well, so she really thinks that Satoshi really is just like the Jesus of life, really. Even though I was like this. Even though. I'm really sorry, everybody. I really am. I'm sorry. If Satos could, could give me another chance, I wouldn't make the same mistake again. Well, I somehow don't think that's not gonna... Um, that's gonna happen. Again, ah, oh, here comes the ground. Oh, bye. I love him. I was so many times that everything was a dream, so I wrote it down. You made it to become true. Nandomo, hmm. Motta. Nakara, Kaita, Nita. Kaita, you may not have to sing it. Dreams and cartoons are often like this. The chiefs have sweets. I can't possibly eat them all. I try to eat some more. Somebody wakes me up. Yeah, I suppose. This dream has been a tremendously long one. It must have been similar for more than a year. Oh my god. Could you imagine if this was like all of a dream? I mean, that wouldn't be possible anyway, but like, god. Oh, that's right. I ran away from the baseball practice. I stepped onto the street when the light was red and got hit by a motorcycle. I've been in a coma since then, but I finally woke up. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. This is, this is probably the dream. I'm just kind of. So when I open my eyes, I saw the ceiling, and Satoshi looks at me from the bedside. Oh, that's a bit too perfect. Yeah. yeah. This is actually very interesting. This whole sort of, but it's okay, right? It's okay for it to be right? Oh. Sorry that I was born. Very 
kind of all persons involved. Oh god, they're really gonna make this hit as much as possible, aren't they? Breakdown of all in persons involved with or linked to the series of deaths in the Amazon. And Tamaya Hojo Dama suicide by plant drawn within the village on June 20, 1982 place. Close. Oh that's uh Tamaya's wife. But um South Sea Hojo believed to have disappeared from the village on June twenty fourth, nineteen eighty two, whereabouts unknown. Tiro Tamataki believed to have committed suicide on June nineteenth, nineteen eighty three. This resembles that of who did Gady Khan on June twenty seventh the investigation ongoing. The old talking on death device regulation in the month of the year previous on June nineteen thirty eighty three a corpse was found in incinerated investigation on going orders on Saki Wanda by Shion Sonosaki on June twentieth, nineteen eighty three. Because they're believed to be shock induced by stun gun, finally abused Post Porton has shown signs of extreme laceration. God, who did Lady Car believe to have been murdered by Sunil Zonazaki on June 23rd, 1983? Because the death was shot due to extreme hemorrhaging caused by lacerations to the throat. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, this resembles that of Jiro Tomitaka on June 19th. This is not good. And give me your seat. And the mother was the only one that came on. She's like, I'm not going to do it. Because the ligature is transferred to the Jew by restraint. Yeah, I'm not going to do And the mother was the only one that came on. Because the death was shock due to him or having induced by multiple penetration points. So I was like, no, the mother was the only one that came on. She's like, I'm not going to do it. Because she's due to being bad after falling down. First, I can't be here. My brother gets his spot for him. She was like, you've been injured. And was severely injured by his wife. In the hospital. I mean, you get a bus counter for in 2004. Currently residing in Susan Wonder City. But I'd always see you from last grand in 2004. Currently residing in Hokkaido. And then there's a guy who's last 2004. Currently was fights in Susan Wonder City. In 2004, address unknown. And that's your city class site. <gasps> oh, poor man! And that little guy's in 2000. He's known my brother. And that's kind of for 2004. Currently in Tokyo. I go my brother 2004, Tokyo. Um, Daiji Tomita. Um, oh, this is um, 2004, Shiji Bonne. Um, Suguru Okamura in 2004. Uh, 2004, Tokyo. Rubiko Chie in 2004, Tokyo. Um, Kyoichi Kameda in 2004, Tokyo. Tebe Hojo in 2004, Tokyo. And Kitty My Brother died in Tokyo Hospital on Ju June 3rd, 1983. Shion Sanazaki died on. Oh. Shion Sanazaki died on June 30th, 1983. Because of the severe treatment reduced impact after falling from the balcony of her apartment. Suspect for the serial murders which began on June 20th, 1983, to her death from the balcony of her apartment, which she hastily rented to her identity. Having her death, police will charge so five murders. Right, I'm gonna screenshot this because I just kind of want to read it again. Quick, quick! Yes, I got it. Okay, I can read it again. Okay. Wow. Is that it? Huh? What? <laughs> Okay, I just kind of wanted to read this again because I actually got it up. So let's go into epic full screen mode. Right. So that's it for the serial murders which began on June 20th, 1983. Fell through her death from the balcony of our apartment, which she hastily, which she hastily rented to conceal our identity. Oh, oh. <coughs> I'm following her death, the police filed charges against her for the five murders which began with Fodio Sanazaki. Yeah. File charges against her even though she's already died. What? I'm confused. It could be right, but I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen with this. See what happens. God, those credits, they were so fucking sad. It's nice to know that some people are still alive though, but like people like Dena, for example. Could you imagine how much of a life she's sort of living now, just thanks to all of this? Alright, it's nice time. Hey Dena, put our desk together. Uh -huh, my life is meatballs today. For lucky. Sounds good. Seem me all happy. Oh my god. Hello WBM. Welcome. Oh my god. It's nice to see you here. We've just finished Merkasi's ending. I don't know what this is, but like, you know, finished good ending and bad ending. I'm actually kind of interested. In Umineko, are there good endings and bad endings? And are there like choices that you have to make? Because there are some here. Sounds good. It's all I'm on then. Rikatan, bring your desk over. I'm coming. Whoosh. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, meatballs are my favourite too. I won't allow you to have any. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't let you do that either, Satoko. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We have some veggies too, so I kept some squash for you. Oh, <gasps> wait, that's us, you. Bro, for real. Wow, I hate squash. Wow, Demi so picky about your food. <laughs> squash is very mischievous. You're still growing, so you need to think about things like that. <laughs> You see on, I am literally older than you, and yet my diet consists of breakfast, one spoonful of granola, yogurt, and a tiny bit of fruit, lunch, some shitty school lunch, dinner, a tiny bit of food that's actually really good, shit ton of dessert, and I'm older than you, and yet you're thinking like this, and I'm not. <laughs> Ah. No, I, I get what you mean, WBM. Yeah. Seventeen riddles, what the fuck? That does sound pretty cool. I could just imagine, like, putting seventeen saves there and just answering the riddle differently every time. <laughs> As long as I live, I won't let you have an unbalanced diet. As long as I live. Lamau. Lamau. Hey guys, here. Have some. Steam squash is delicious. Bro. Much, much. Satoko is really sweet. Yeah, it's super good. The balance of flavors is perfect. Satoko, don't eat this. It's too good for you. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Steam squash. I've never actually looked at that. I'll search it up after this. I'm kind of interested. Excuse me. I don't like your tone. <laughs> Just try one. Take a bite. Oh my god. She tries vegetables for the first time. Oh my god. Then I'm actually realizes that not everybody eats vegetables. What the fuck? See? Isn't it good? <laughs> no, I should WBM. But the only thing is, I have a feeling that when I'm finished with Higurashi and like all the visual novel, I think it will probably be like until maybe. I think it will maybe be in around. I will say. Um, December at the very most, and then I can't do it anymore because I have a, because exams are more important. So, yeah, probably maybe I'll return to it when I'm doing fucking sixth form. Who knows. Or maybe I won't even have time in my life because the thing is, I'm, I'm going to have a feeling that like with the whole visual novel related stuff is I'm going to have year 10. This is like the last time I actually have time and then year 11 is going to be like full exams. But after year 11's ending, maybe I could have time. But at the same time, that starts sixth form and sixth form is so fucking important. So I wouldn't really want to miss out any sleep. And then everything just gets more and more important from there. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, I I hope you're going to enjoy it if you play it. It's one of the... Not one of the... The best thing I've ever played in terms of literature. It's so fucking good. Much better than Higurashi's anime as well. Just try one. Take a bite. See, isn't it good? Hmm. Well, it isn't so bad. <laughs> of course it isn't. I've been working hard every day to get you to overcome your dislike of squash. Down. Okay, now that that's done with, why don't you overcome your fear of eggplants, green peppers, and asparagus within a year? Sounds impossible. It's 
Stop joking. At this rate, I'll transfer to school in Okinomiya. <gasps> no! <laughs> transfer. Eek. Come on, I'm a chance of your help since Subtle Skin asked me to take care of you. I think this is a little bit of an alternate ending. Hmm. This is probably the ending that Satoshi would have wanted. I don't need to eat junk food either. <laughs> well, I hate this young <laughs> I hate squash. <laughs> Damn. This is a cursed image right here. I can't lie. <laughs> oh, that was the ending. Oh, my God, interesting. Wait, wait. Tips reading rooms when you know tips. Yep. I think I might have known about that. <laughs> Staff room, yeah. Oh, I don't think I've a happy diary and disowned. Holy fuck. Right. Revelation. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be really interesting to see like what the tips are especially and maybe if there were some new features. What's the... Is there anything that's new? Yeah, staff room. I've never seen... The character jump is just, like, the days. Yeah. My god, look at how many days there were. God. But, like, character jump... Um, staff room is just... I swear it was called something different before. But, like, yeah. Oh, my... Ooh. These are gonna be very interesting. Right, I'm gonna get some coke. Because fuck health. I can't lie. After watching what Sion just did to Sotokor... Who cares about health? But whoever di designed these win these lids, I want sued. That was just a joke, by the way. But like, seriously, I can't stand these lids. Oh, they are so annoying. Why does this bloody piece of plastic not come off? Why? This is a train wreck. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. WBM, don't worry, because the thing is about, that's not even the most graphic part. Decard's death is a lot worse here, and Satoko's death is probably one of the most disturbing things I have ever read. It's so horrible. It goes into detail as well about the Sion's account of stabbing. A happy diary. Right, this is going to be interesting, right? Here we go. Um... Yes, when Mr. Kasai broke in, the room was empty and the window leading to the balcony was opening. Oh, that's when she fell. Oh. oh no, that's awful. So he actually saw her fall. She had the elevator. She had the elevator housing right beneath, which gave her a concussion. Then she rolled off um, the roof and hit the ground. Killing her. The reason Mr. Kasai didn't find her, even though he suspected her suicide, is that she was on the elevator housing at the time, unconscious. Yeah. My Barakeji was stabbed at the, about the same time. What? Was Sion Sonazaki unconscious on the roof then? Huh? That's weird. That is really weird. That is so weird. I doubt it. She must have snuck out of the building, stabbed Casey, then accidentally fell when she came back. Doesn't that sound right? I mean, I don't know. Oh, you would look at the neighbor. Oh, would you look at the neighboring balcony again? Well, it was really odd because all of the things that happened with the whole Katie stabbing thing, it's like, it was all a dream. <coughs> and when she woke up, she died. Weird. Oh, yeah, I couldn't agree more, WBM. Just the crying alone and the screaming. Oh, God, they're, they're the things that hit the most from the characters. Oh, my God.
Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. Definitely. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, does it go into, like, real detail? Because it really went into detail with, for example, like, Satoko's stabbing and everything. And that's why it was really disturbing. Ugh. Oi san, you gotta come in on line here. On line 3. Oh, this is from Sato, apparently. Sato? He says the boss is born. No, 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 hello. Ah, oh, Sato san, you must have some good news. An informant got into contact with me and you were right after all. Thank you, I'll buy you a drink on the flower road. Oh, what's that called about? I'm a drunken invitation. <laughs> Bingo. It's almost like he's just a switch places. They found out? What? It's actually very interesting. Or is he actually suspected this? Wow. I'm surprised. Or is he ex Sion when? <laughs> because she could tell them apart. <laughs> Sounds like he's just. Mion, Sion, Sion is Mion. They made a mistake when they were supposed to tattoo the successor. Yeah. So Mion and Gion are sort of around in this notebook. So then Satoshi and Sion are. No, Mion san? This is confusing. Anyway, with that, you're getting a clearer understanding of their relationship. So she has their, she has her note, but that's interesting. Very interesting. Oh yeah, I suppose this whole thing, it could definitely make it confusing for the police and sort of inhibit the evidence. God, that's really interesting. But you wouldn't really need that much of an understanding to sort of realise its suspiciousness. Yeah. Are you talking about the mysterious number you received the other day? Didn't you say it was all Mumbo Jumbo that could possibly confuse the case? Mumbo Jumbo? No, bro. Even after switching the names, it's still confusing. I don't know how much of the content I can trust. Even if this true, Hooded Eddy class death seems very suspicious. Oh, yeah. This is very interesting because, like... I have a feeling that... They don't really realise this, but we know this. It's all Sion's thoughts. Everything is genuine. Everything. And I wonder what would happen if she actually if he actually realised that it was genuine and about Rudika and the sort of investigation regarding her. This is no real of a lunatic. It drove me nuts when I read it. Oh. Yeah, you know this line on the last page about how she's sorry for being born? That makes me want to jump out the window. Yeah. It's very interesting, that. I mean... God, feel a little bit of empathy, mate. Holy shit. God. Even so, this is a happy diary. A happy diary. What? You do you know how many times Sato Skin's name appears in his notebook? Hmm. Sion san really loved him. Yeah, but because he was so young, a few mistakes caused that lot to be misdirected. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Oh. That's not it, is it? Looks like it. God, that's really interesting. I mean, yeah. I'm just surprised how much they've actually figured out. I really am. But I suppose when you looked at the corpses and you looked at which locations they were at, it could be definitely apparent if you sort of look at their tattoos, see which one has the demon and which one doesn't. Oh yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. Wait for Himatsubushi, you get quite a lot of voicey there, like you did in the anime. That's the thing I've seen him most in at the moment. Wait, shit, I probably shouldn't be saying this because it's literally giving me... I am so sorry, WBM. I kind of just, like, 
might have spoiled it. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But yeah, you see, but basically every time you see him in the anime, you sort of see him more in the visual novel, which is really cool. And you see more of the character's internal thoughts about him as well, which I really like. Something an anime can't really communicate to us, you know? Right, this zone is going to be very interesting. Get the son's lackeys here. Sion. Him on top of Why did you have a fight with a hand? Oh, interesting. Why did you have a fight with It was banging up so you disowned you, right? You're so noisy about everything. Well, I guess you're old enough to know. Oh, she objected when I told her I wanted to marry your father. That's very interesting. That could ma Oh my god, if that's why she would get she rejected Sion loving Hojo. Family member. Oh my god. It could just be a thing in the family, maybe, because that could actually make sense because like Akane was a um sort of reject. So she didn't really want to reject to marry. And Sion was also a reject. Weird. I was, living in a very, I was living a very unseen life like then. Then the man I brought home was a Yakuza. So of course he got terri she got terribly upset. Ah. Uh, yeah, I suppose. She said, the head of the family will choose your fiancé. And I said, screw your decision, you fucking Virago. So then we tried to um, cut each other down on the spot. Wow. God, good for her. Marry who you want, but like, still... Cut each other down on the spot. Wait, they're being literal? We answer you like a ton in the living room and clash and slash at the sliced. Holy shit. <laughs> that laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Eek. You thought that hag with the sword? Way to go, Ma. <laughs> what? Well. I was into martial arts when I was young. Wow. Both she and I held high ranks in Kindle, so yes, it was quite the show. Wow. Everybody knew I was terrified. Oh, that was fun. But, like, for real, this is really interesting. I mean, I can't believe they fought. Holy shit. They could have fucking died. Got in the living room as well. I see. So, is that why you were disowned? That's right, I was happy for Oh! Interesting. That's right, I was happy for it. I married your father right away. God, so you've been disowned for basically, like, the person you want to... That's horrible. I mean, at least she can actually, like, marry the person she was in love with. I mean, there's nothing about divorce or anything, so I'm assuming it was a really good decision which is good but like still it's just horrible you have to go through that for it oh my god well audio is a fucking demon so <laughs> well literally not like genuinely but like yeah um <laughs> oh my god outbreak is very good yeah i definitely recommend it yeah 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 easily i'm very excited to read the visual novel of that game i really am oh yeah yeah definitely you have watched the entire anime, but at the same time, there are quite a lot of things that are sort of really new here. I mean, like this, I suppose. That's what I was having. Well, I was supposed to remember, I think. Oh my god. Fucking evil. I was supposed to remember, I think, when I was in the time. Like, see how the big nose in my left hand look ugly? Wow. So that's why you and Hag have a bad relationship, huh? <laughs> She just like talked about fucking removing her fingernails, and then she was just like, Wow! I mean, she is young to be fair, but like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, you know, 
you know what, Sion? That's not actually true. Oh, our relationship is actually pretty good. How? What? That can't be right. True. She has to maintain the family's reputation, so she can't treat me normally. Oh. Cool, so marrying Yakuza has actually, like, really put a hole in their reputation. That's interesting. And accordingly, I lay low at the family councils. Yeah, but I visit every, her every now and then, and we have tea together. Oh. I'm just really surprised that they have a good relationship. I mean, they are like mother and son. Mother and son. Mother and daughter. <laughs> but like, still, it's just kind of surprising. How can you have a good relationship, and yet be disowned for who you marry? I mean, it's just weird. I can't believe it. This saw the moment. <laughs> this is just between you and me, okay? She removed her fingernails in a diamond a long time ago. Herself? That's really interesting. Look heavily at her and the next time you see her. What? What does she do? Oh god, beats me. I don't have a clue. Eek. <laughs> Hey, you do so have one. It's all over your face, tell me. Oh my god. Bruh. <laughs> god, that's really interesting. So, it's just kind of surprising to me that, like, the whole um, Sonazaki thing about fingernails, it sort of really runs on the family. Like, you get Oreo, and then you get Akane, and then you get the actual person that was in believed to have inherited the demon, which is Sion. And I suppose Mion's probably in the bloodline more than Mion. But then, if you sort of thought Mion was an exception, you can also count that Mion was actually the person who removed her fingernails when um, she, when she realised that Sion was going through this all alone. She wanted to go through, her with her, through it with her. Right, staff room. The last thing in this fabulous novel. Oh. Um, this is not what I was expecting. Bro, where's my angel more? I sound like a horny bastard. Oh my god. I do not mean it like that. I mean, where's the Angel Mort setting? Why are we in a lab? <laughs> I got an alert. Hold up. Wait. I don't even know if I can check alerts. Uh, create a dashboard. I am actually going to find this alert. Go on. Right. Thank you for the colo follow, Carmen. Much appreciated. Do you think the murder can be justified depending on the motive? Hmm. Hi, this is Yuki C07. Oh. This is going to be very interesting. So, oh no, I hope we're going to get like a, you know, in all the other um, visual novels where we get sort of like a... I don't know, just like all the characters talking, fucking around, having fun. Oh god, I hope we're gonna get this here. Uh, Yuki Shio 7. Thank you for playing Higadashi when they cry. Kai. Chapter 5. Merkasi. Although I had a bit many deaths in my work, I often ask myself a question. My question is is there such a thing? It's a justifiable murderer. Murder? Hmm. In our world, murder is prosecuted and the degree of punishment varies depending on the motive and circumstances. Yeah. How many different degrees of punishment means that we are putting a value on a dead person? Yeah. I've never thought about that, I suppose. Some scenes just to buy Margaret and doing Hugo Nasi. Yeah, by dwelling the life of the victim in those scenes, the players can sympathise with the character more easily. Oh yeah, I mean, even though Sion was such a fucking murderer, I mean, I felt so bad for her. All of the circumstances that actually led into her murder and what a normal human being just 
should have been turned into a fucking mad psychopath that was beyond anything really. By the one in love with the victim of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But it's interesting that he says some scenes just about my own eager lassie. But I ran in love with the victim in those scenes. Let's consider those kind of more easily. The greatest of them would be different from person to person. Oh yeah. The people who can sympathize properly felt catharsis and the people who disagree with the character might have felt uncomfortable. What is catharsis? I don't even know. Let me just search it up real quick. Wait, hold up, I'll just I'll just search up on my browser and then get a result. I don't want you guys to see. Oh wait, I can't show you my browser because it has stuff. Uh wait no I can. I can. Right, uh so the process of releasing and thereby providing relief from strong or repressed emotions. Oh, Interesting. That's indicated by how opinions were polarized regarding Casey's actions in Data League Odyssey. Oh, interesting. In Malakasi, there also were a number of murderers. Murders, you mean, yeah. But this time, the main character, Sion, has a sympathy for each one of them. Yeah, I suppose. How did you feel? How much were you able to sympathise with her? If you couldn't sympathise with her at all, then please parade her as a crazy murderer. Yeah, but if you sympathise with her at all, then please have mercy on her. Hmm, if you sympathise with her almost entirely, then please have mercy on her. If you completely sympathise with her, then please let us berate both of you as crazy murderers. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Eek. That's kind of scary. Well, I didn't completely sympathise with her. <laughs> Good thing to know I'm not a crazy murderer. LOL. LOL. God, I had to say one word and I messed it up. <laughs> Bloody throat. What about me? Well, that's a secret. <laughs> I'd like to reverse my question this time. What kind of murderer could you sympathise with if you were to be killed? A murderer who doesn't care about people's lives. Oh, oh my god, this is going to be interesting. That would be quite a regrettable death. It's extremely sad to be killed in denial of all your values. Yeah. A murderer who begs with forgiveness and tears? That would be quite re regrettable too. They shouldn't kill you at all if they're begging for your forgiveness. Uh -huh. So what kind of murderer could you sympathise with? In the end, something might just be a method for making the story more interesting. I suppose. But if you can sympathise, it's fun. If you can't sympathise, it's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. WBM, I don't know if you're still here, but... Corpse Party. Literally corpse party anime. We cannot bet our value on him. Not, yeah, it's a sin to even try doing so. A matter is a murder. Nothing more than that. I just hope everybody can live happily together. How does that sound? Would you agree to that? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. That'd just be ideal, but it's not possible, sadly. If you wouldn't. <laughs> he 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 he. Sion laugh moment. Thank you very much for playing Higadasi when they cried. Kai. Chapter 5. Malkasi. I can only bring out this fifth episode thanks to all your support. Hmm. 
He could also grow to get more intense as he approaches the finale. Nothing will make me happier than if you continue the, reading the chapters to come. Oh yeah, man, I'm fucking continuing. No way I wouldn't. It will get more intense though. Oh boy. <laughs> could you imagine if Meokasi wasn't the worst thing we're going to see in terms of how disgusting it is? Because it definitely wasn't the anime, but maybe it couldn't be here. Could be potential. I don't know. Next chapter we're talking to Simi Holobossi. Really, I'm rather fortunate if you've enjoyed yourself even a little. Even a little? Bro. I don't think he realises how much I fucking love this series. This series is genuinely one of the best things that has, like, ever sort of happened in my life recently. It's just that good. This series. This series. I've actually nearly liked this series for a year. And yet I still find it new. I find it refreshing. I find plots that I literally know everything about. Like, I know everything that happens in Sumi Horoboshi. And yet I'm so excited to read it. And when I say so excited, I'm so excited to read it. Just emphasis there. I'm going for blank. I hope this is what you're a little colour to your life. Stop reading my mind, bro. <laughs> so seven is Russian. Yuki C or seven. And then it's this. Oh come on, give us the give us the staff. You know, the staff, everybody having fun, all the voice actors. Come on, you know you want to give us it. You know you do. Aww, oh, that's a shame. Have we actually got every achievement now? No, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of curious. Have we got every achievement? Because if we haven't, then we've missed stuff, which is good. I want more, <laughs> if I'm going to be real. 35 hours I've played this, wow. Oh, we have missed it. We have missed one. It says read all tips, but I have read all the tips. What? I literally have read all of them, though. It's weird. Oh, I don't know which one I could have potentially missed. Hmm... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. The tips aren't really that important anyway. Oh my god. That was Meakasi. Bro. That story, holy shit. That was just such a ride. I mean, I probably said my thoughts for all of the story, like every time I've done it. But like, my god, I just still wanted to reiterate. What a fucking masterpiece of a story, dude. This is this is one of the most classic and brilliant stories and just fucking sad stories I have ever seen. It's mysterious. I think the mysterious aspects, they're brilliant. All of everything. I mean, I mean I'm going to be real. I have a feeling there is a little bit too much focus on Tatsushi at some times, but the only thing is about this, like, that focus being too much isn't that bad because... This sort of reflects the mind of Sion, the man of the main character. If she can't stop thinking about him, then, like, why shouldn't there be any focus on Satoshi? But, like, anyway, my god. <clears throat> all the stuff about Satoshi, all the love stuff, all the fucking murders, especially, oh my god. Everything was just done so well. Dude, this was such a brilliant story. And, I mean, like, even, even when everything was fun, like, even the happy moments, all of the moments before everything happened. Um, oh my god, the escaping school as well, that was really well done. Oh god, just everything, bro. I love this game so much. I mean, I, I think it was just so interesting, like, this plot and then Watanagasi, they are. Just how they connect into each other is some of the best writing I will... The best structure, best writing I will ever, ever experience. And it's really weird because I would have thought that Meakasi would have solved all of the mysteries, but we still have one mystery. And I mean, I mean, obviously we have the mystery of who the fuck is Oyasu or Summer, but... We also have the mystery of, you know, when, um, 
You don't want me on Gilgeti? She was meant to be on the roof then. How the fuck did she do it? It's very weird that. I mean... Could it maybe be a some... It could maybe be a three. And we also don't have any questions... We don't have any answers as well on um, how... How the demons are sort of re-haunting bodies that have sort of already died. But like, the only thing is it has, uh, is actually kind of interesting because... I... Hmm, what was I even going to say? What was very interesting is... Uh, I was talking about the demons, yeah. So... I do wonder maybe if it could have been like the demon leaving Mion or something like that. No, Xion. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. But like it could have maybe been the demon leaving Xion because after the whole fall and the concussion and everything, her thoughts were level headed. She'd really sort of started to see regret of what she'd done. Everything has sort of changed. But the only thing is about that, at the same time, at the same time of those exact psychopathic thoughts, at the same thoughts even, we had complete psychopathy from. The other side of Sion. The demon. So I do wonder if it could have been some really weird dog gang of shit. Or something like that. I really don't know. I hope we're going to find out more to this mystery sometime soon. But the only time, the only thing is this is probably going to be like the last time we're ever going to see something related to this world. Maybe some of the console arcs, to be fair, they're going to actually give us some insight on um, what's going to actually happen in terms of like maybe another ending. Because I know with the console arcs there's this one... Um, bad ending to, for example, Tatari Gordesi that happens, like an alternate ending. Oh my god, the console arcs are going to be so interesting to read, but yeah, so is the main story. I'm so very excited for Tsumi Horoboshi. That's going to be amazing. And um, yeah, I'm also, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to watch the Miyakasi anime, because that's what I always do, you know. It's going to be very sad, I bet. God, this game is just so good. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a game that has I think ever made me sort of question the faith of humanity really interested me made me want to read really sort of just be so good in anything it does i really don't i don't know how they do it these visual novel writers i mean yukichi genuine fucking hell if i met that person i would literally give him money like bro my hats off to him he is such an amazing writer i mean my god, it's just insane how, like, we've had so many visual novels, so much time spent in exactly the same plot, exactly the same village, and yet he still manages to make everything really bloody interesting. It's nuts. It really is. God, it's just so good, this game. It is so, so good. Everything is so good. And I, I think what I'm probably going to do is, um, I found, I found these videos that sort of deconstruct Sion and her personality. So I do wonder if potentially they could sort of give more impact on, like, what could have potentially happened with her. Because I do not believe that there is a demon in the slightest way. I think, I have a feeling the whole demon thing was just, like, some sort of mental disorder that was, like, some sort of state in the mind that was, I don't know how I could put this, like, well, some sort of de deterioration in the mind. And because her personality was sort of just getting worse, she sort of, she blamed her personality and everything on the demon and as a result because demons are sort of meant to be inherently bad she got worse she was sort of just hanging on to something that wasn't even there thanks the but was thanks to the family circumstances and that just made it worse i don't really know how to explain it but like still i do not believe there has to be more to this and i'm i'm very interested i might actually search like more of just the mental side. I'm really interested in what happened to Sion. Especially this whole paranoia thing. And especially the rumbling in her head. Do you remember that when we were playing today? Like the rumbling in her head. When Mion. And Mion as well. That second presence she was actually seeing. What the fuck was that? She thought she was actually seeing. But it wasn't actually like reality. And she thought she was hearing. It's so weird. Oh my god I love this game. Yeah. Well, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the stream. And, yeah. I'm probably going to stream next on Friday night. Because, yeah. Got stuff to do, you know. Can't stream on Thursday. So, yeah. See you guys. And, yeah. We're going to go to Tumi Horowasi next. That is going to be so, so exciting. Because, if you don't know, Meokasi's anime. Genuinely one of the best animes I've ever seen. But, Tumi Horowasi's anime second best 
in entire series, if you ask me. I don't really remember much of Kai at all, so I can't really say that. But like Sumi Horobosi in the anime, it is so good. So I can't wait to read it. I, I really can't wait. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited just thinking about it. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go to bed now. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Yada gada. Everything. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, see you guys. Have a good one. And yeah. No more Meakasi now. That was... How long did I... Um, play this game for? 35 hours. Wow. That is the longest story by maybe like two times. God. That is really cool. But yeah. There we are. See ya.